Hi folks, welcome to this week's Sunday Catechism. We're still on the Ninth Commandment, question 78, I'll read it in a moment, but just let me reflect on a little bit how strange this is that so much time is spent on the commandments. Now I've mentioned this before, but you know, the more I've been doing this, and I, I must admit, honestly, I thought, mm, why can't they just do one question on each of the commandments? Is it that important? But you know, it's a bit like going through the book of Acts. I thought, why do I need a church planting manual? This is just what we need. And it's the same in terms of ethics and so on. This detailed examination of the law of God is actually what our society needs, uh, particularly in this aspect of truth telling. So let me, let, let me read this and let me just make a couple of comments. Question 78, what is forbidden in the ninth commandment? The ninth commandment forbids anything that undermines the truth or injures our own or our neighbor's good name. The ninth commandment forbids anything that undermines the truth or injures our own or our neighbor's good name. Forbids anything that undermines the truth. Now there's again so much or that damages our own indeed or our neighbor's good name. So there's two things I want to think about. One is a political thing where in Australia just now the government has just dropped its misinformation bill. Now, what it was going to do was it was going to fine uh, the big tech companies, you know, Meta, Facebook, Google, YouTube, um, X, Twitter, whatever. And they could find them up to, I think, between two and five percent of their world income. So like Facebook could face a fine of eight billion dollars for information that was considered to be false, demonstrably false or harmful. <coughs> now the harmful aspect of it is uh, the most difficult part because who determines what's harmful? And in terms of what's false, the, th the extraordinary thing was that the government were going to exclude mainstream news media from that. So they could say what was false, fine. I mean, it's just extraordinary. And the other thing is that the government was to be the arbiter of truth. Now, I think we need to be so, so careful about all of this. Uh, Jesus Christ is the truth. Those of us who are Christians, we need to say the truth, whatever it is, even when, it's, even when it hurts, even when it's harmful, uh, and, and maybe even to us it's in some level. What we are not allowed to do is undermine the truth and injure, use that. Use that misinformation, if you like, to harm even ourselves, but also to harm others. And I just want to think of one other example of this, and that's in the church. I'm so tired of this. I'm so tired of the games that get played in the church. You know, I can think of people who say one thing to your face and then do another thing. I'll just give you one personal example. I was uh, involved in an organization. I won't say which one it was. Anyway, I happened to be um, in the country where that organization was based. You probably guess where it was. Uh, and I heard that they were having a meeting and they were having a meeting about the work I was involved in. So I said, oh, I happen to be here, guys. Let me, I'll, I'll come up and have a chat with you since, you know, this, this is what it's about. And they said to me, oh, no, 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 we love what you're doing and da, 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 da. And there's no need, you know, you're on a break, forget it. And I thought, oh, well, that's nice. I'm so naive. Uh, and then on the Sunday, I met somebody, uh, a fellow minister, and I said, what are you doing here? I thought you were up with this group, you know, looking at our work. And he said, no, he said, that wasn't to look at your work. He said, that was them trying to find a way to get rid of you. They just lied to my face. I mean, it was extraordinary. And this is in a church. You know, I think when churches try to cover up abuse, that's a lie. And I think, and it, that does enormous injury to the church's name. We're seeing that with the John Smythe affair. But also, when churches pretend to be something that they're not. So you do a report, as sometimes you do in churches, you go to visit and oh, everything's great, everything's rosy, everything's wonderful. But underneath there are all these different tensions and problems and difficulties and no one wants to face up to them. And they think it's being nice just to ignore all of that. And it's not, it's breaking this commandment because it undermines the truth and it harms ours and our neighbor's good name.
So think about it. Um, it's such an important commandment and I have to reflect on it and make sure that I don't pass on lies, I don't tell lies, and I don't deceive by pretending to be something that I'm not. God bless you. See you next week. Bye. Mm -hmm.